because his character dice are not the ones doing the work here. That's right. And But uh, Weapons Factory Alpha are probably not uh, very useful for Yoda Hondo. Definitely not. <coughs> yeah, definitely not. Unless he's slotted in some vehicle as an off pick for that matchup, which I don't think so. We did see Mateus here on Thursday uh, playing this deck. I know he's defeated a lot of very skilled players over this tournament so far. I think that Christopher is happy to play on the Frozen Wastes and get the shields. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll also take his, his cheaper vehicle there if he, if he gets it. So a hyperspace jump is at least one easy pickings. Resistance bomber. You know, I wish everybody was like uh, Eric Wainwright and just held their cards fan perfectly <laughs> for us to see what they had in their hand at all times. Yeah. What a nice guy, that Eric. All right. Let's see here. Have a two, I believe, on uh, Christopher. Yeah, for more, Christopher. For, uh, more for Yoda Hondo. Three. Can we get the table mic up just a little bit? And, all right, so... He's going to go Weapons Factory, take the shields. Yeah, don't forget your shields. Don't forget the extra card you get from playing uh, Stolen Intel. And here we get the Handshake. Mateus just setting this field so shield. So he has a Force Illusion, an Easy Pickings. Right, so force Speed, oh. Hyperspace <laughs> Jump, and a Vandalize, it looks like. All right, so Christopher will roll Ezra. Always oh, great to start with Ezra damage. if you get that special can threaten their resources. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the only character you don't want to activate here first is the Jedi Temple Guard. Absolutely. Since that character has Guardian, you want to be able to Although, use that ability if able. Nothing to Guardian on that whole other side of the table right now. That's right. That's right. Guardian's utility going to be very limited by the... Uh, the specials going on. Mm -hmm. But we already have a support on Christopher's side. Yeah, he did have to pay, you know, the one resource, no tech team or rally aid to help him cheat that in for cheap. All right, so what do we see here on Matea's side? We have a four speed special that he's going to resolve for two extra actions. First action will be to roll in Hondo. He has a, a he rolls in a blank and a, spe and a special. For his second action, he'll spend one and play Vandalize. Ooh. Remove two of his character dice to discard a support Trade or two upgrade to from yeah, play. Shut down that whole so that airspeeder play. That airspeeder uh, that came in early from uh, Christopher is now in the discard pile. Yes. So it costs him a resource effectively. Also takes a lot of his offensive potential away this turn. Mm -hmm. And what we expect here is... Uh, Hondo to do a lot of damage early on, and for Christopher probably to focus on Hondo as much as possible. I think so, yeah, unless you get some really threatening weapons on Yoda. Yoda just can't close the game out by himself. Man, that's not great rolls. He needs to get some range damage on one of his other two characters here mm -hmm. and put something down. So he will discard Cash and reroll. would also be good. Oof. Another blank on the rookie pilot. Just a disrupt there. And a disrupt, yeah. So I think Christopher is, is sitting on a hidden motive. He's got an 82 interceptor or and a caution. Oh, it's a caution. So he will caution the rookie pilot die away to gain three shields on the uh, hired gun. Hired Gun has the best offensive die there, so I wanted to make sure he sticks around. Mateos will claim to make sure to start next round. He pops and in both their shields. So let's see what uh, our two players will draw this, <coughs> this round. Discarding the Force Illusion. He's got Hyperspace Jump, two easy pickings. Just get Yoda out there right away. I think we have Ooh, a handful of supports on uh, Christopher's side with a flank and an entangle. Entangle. Just remove Yoda support, Yoda's uh, specials from the game. A rally aid, a tech team. Those are going to pay off, but every turn you wait to play them, the worse they get. 
And here comes the Entangle. All right. So those two Yoda specials are <laughs> great to roll. But when your opponent is playing Entangle Cheat or to remove. Um, what's the other card I'm thinking of that sees a lot of play? Yellow removal. Um, easy pickings. Easy pickings, of course. Yes. Uh, that's That could be a crucial play here. All right. So he's going to reroll. Oh, man. Oh, wow. He rolls the native specials on Hondo. That's four or five <laughs> specials rolled wow. by Mateus here. And Now's the time you hope you're sitting on an easy pickings, too. But no, just a tech team comes out. That's interesting and because... That's going to be a dead rookie. Mm -hmm. Christopher chose to spend his resources on the tech team. And to then get a rally aid. To get then a rally aid. It, but in the... In the in doing so, um, allowed him to kill the rookie pilot. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's what Rally Aid's one of those things, if you don't get it out there early, it's just not going to help. Ooh, and we got Cunning on Hondo. Mateus using it rather than losing it. Yep. With the Ezra special threatening his resources. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a claim by Mateus there. Or just passing. He's wanting to acquaint himself with the uh, Jedi Temple Guard. So sadly, uh, Christopher rolls in three range damage on the hired gun, but he has no resources to spend uh, to resolve that that damage. For the want of a couple resources, Christopher has had some some issues this turn. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but hey, he gets a lot of shields. Yeah, what's that last card in his hand? Can he rally aid and play that vehicle? No, he'll discard it. Yeah, he gets a three cost. The isn't interceptor. The uh, yeah ETA two interceptor. Yeah, so he didn't have the money to play it. No. That has to be a downer. No damage showing on either of Mateus's characters, and Christopher already lost the rookie pilot. She's got good shields, but. Would that be enough? There's, is there a light? Yeah, there are two light bows in Mateus's deck. So, so that's what he's looking for now. Yeah, it doesn't um, look like he's got them. Oh man, Yoda rolling two focus or specials. That both of those are very, very useful. And there's the easy pickings. Here's the easy pickings again. Removing uh, the two Yoda dice right away. So shutting down that character almost for the. For two rounds good. now, yeah. And only one Hondo special. Not enough to just pop another character right away. Mm -hmm. Christopher still has two resources showing. Guardian, of course, just not getting any mileage here in this matchup. Um, a great card in uh, Mateus's deck here would be the Force Wave. Yes. Because uh, if you're able to play a Force Wave, uh, either on uh, Hondo or Yoda, uh, you can activate it special for one, one resource to be able to do six damage over three characters. And even better, activates the special for no resources with Cunning. But how do you do that, Matt? By using Cunning. Oh, by Cunning. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. All right, so Scruffy. Scruffy like Nerf Herder. Yep. Wow. We cannot hear what they call, so I guess we'll see what he called by what he discards. Hope he said event. Table? Up. We can't hear them at all. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. So two easy pickings. Hyperspace jump. Rebel and lone operative. Could be a tough choice for uh I'll take the jump. Alright, he will take the hyperspace jump. Take the jump because that's a really bad thing to have played on you when you're running a vehicle deck and you're just starting your turn and mm -hmm. your opponent's all done. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he has uh, Rebel in hand, mm -hmm. so he'll be able to uh, pl play it from his discard? Yes. We'll see. Push comes, push comes to shove. Uh, so he's going to have to have a discard showing, which, which he does right now. All right. So he he'll do that. he's going to jump out. So maybe a little bit of a misplay there by Christopher, not seeing the potential for that. Although, 
if you discard Rebel, he can just jump anyway. So yeah. this way he at least costs him two cards. Yeah. That's how I got to look at it. Mm -hmm. But a bummer. He got that Fang Fighter out and did not get to use it. So not a lot happening on uh, Yoda Hondo's side last round. And, uh, ah, targeting the supports. Oh. But uh, Christopher was able to play a uh, Fang Fighter. If you're Mateus, do you go for C-3PO or the other Fang? Oh, the Fang Fighter. I think you want to curtail as much, such a good toolbox, as much damage as possible. And uh, C-3PO is free. That's yeah, you're true. go for the Fang. I, I don't think you're necessarily wrong, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a tough choice. Uh, and he gets to see the rest of yes. Christopher's so he hand. He knows what kind of removal to expect. So C-3PO comes in, and uh, Matthias will roll in Yoda. No specials, but a two focus, a one discard, and a shield. Matthias has got a second chance. He's still got both easy pickings, and I think an overconfidence there. Let's see what Hondo can roll here. We have a special, a focus, and a two disrupt. So I feel a bunch of Hondo specials coming here myself. Yep, yep. Mateus can get a light bow. He can end this pretty darn quick. So Christopher will flank the Hondo special. He's going to still have to contend with two more potentially. All right. Uh, so... Have a Yoda special. Uh, he might be. He might resolve now to turn the four speed to a special. Well, I think he's still figuring out which other die to focus. Mm -hmm. There we go. <coughs> so using Yoda's two focus. Yoda's dice are just so good at his costs. No surprise that we see him over and over again. Mateus knew that uh, that Christopher had pinned down in his hand. So Christopher will play pin down to remove the cunning die from the pool so that he's unable to to use it this round to do all kinds of yeah, <laughs> special e shenanigans. Either Yoda's or special or Hondo's. Mm -hmm. Great uh, utility. All right, so Yoda die is being resolved. First, he's going to turn the Hondo special to a, a special and gain a resource and then resolve the Hondo special as part of the special action chaining uh, to deal three damage. Two health remaining on that Jedi Temple Guard. That's all we got left over there. That was a Fang Fighter rolled in for just resources. Which, which can save you three damage. But True. And, and another more. resource. I don't remember what Christopher has in his hand that he's going to want that cash for. He's just going to want to sit on it to shut Hondo down. Ooh, easy oh, pickings. and easy pickings. Ouch. Man, Christopher is just not gaining any ground here. So Able to he claim. claim. He'll get a, a you know a two cost a, a support in for free next turn, but he did no damage still to any of the characters. Mm -hmm. And slowly, Jedi Temple Guard is is uh, taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I would not be at all surprised to see it go down this turn. Still an easy pickings in hand. Overconfidence. Second chance. Can't see those two new cards in the back, though. Christopher is playing Aftermath. Because uh, he expects, expects the General Temple Guard to be defeated. Expects to lose a character here. And that Yoda special going to start the special chain off if he wants. I saw Rebel in there again. And Im see. Impulsive. Christopher is going to Still no use light Tech Team. To play a Y Wing for one. For one resource. It's good economy right here. Where does other resource go? Uh, to the aftermath. Yes. I believe. Aftermath's free. Should have one more resource by my count. Oh, and Mateus has a, an impulsive in hand. Um, this is a card that nobody has been talking about, but it's a great 
card. Kind of like Kanan and Jairus' ability. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it basically lets you, um, lets you turn a die to any side and resolve it right away. And it can be key in certain matchups. Um, I think it's a card that has been overlooked. So, Mateus, using that, you had a special. Got a lot of cash. Uh, Christopher has to be aware of another hyperface jump. He knows there's... <coughs> okay, so Chad is saying it was just forgetting about the battlefield and overpaying. He's probably not used to having the battlefield after round one. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if that is the case, though, that's unfortunate for Christopher because that money is going to come in serious use when uh, two cunnings get rolled out here. Yeah, and still no damage on Hondo. Mm -mm. It's getting harder and harder for, for Christopher here. All right, so Mateus will roll in Hondo. No specials. No specials, but a focus at least. Can focus Yoda. And chain and the cunnings into Yoda to get to the Honda specials too. The mm -hmm. Honda special. So we have. Oh, and he can use the Y wing special against him. We have Rally Aid here. Ouch! Uh, coming in and another Y wing on the board now for Christopher. So potential for a lot of damage. Um, with a Fang Fighter and two Y wings. If he can get that all off in a turn, awesome. But those Cunnings are now able to use his own special against him. That's right. That's right. All right, so Impulsive comes down to resolve the uh, s uh, focus side on Hondo to turn um, Yoda to a two special and then turn use the, those focus sides to turn um, both, cunnings. both Cunnings to a special. It could be an explosive play coming here. Yeah, I'm curious, which special is he going to choose? Other card gets discarded. Ooh, into the garbage chute. I mean, not that useful since <laughs> there's no damage side yeah. still showing over there. Yeah. All right, so here You're gonna comes lose the card. Fang Fighter could be for worse. two damage. All right. With a plus two oh, man. on Ezra. <laughs> Just getting shut down at every turn. Easy pickings again. Mateus is really uh, coming down hard with that removal. Uh, both easy pickings came down. So a Hondo special to just kill the Jedi Temple Guard there, I think. And Entangle. Uh, yeah. He could use the Y-Wing special, but in that case, he could spread it around. Oh, no. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he's uh, doing both Y-Wing specials. Wow. Why kill your own Temple Guard, then? In any case, mm -hmm. guess he wanted to leave those two more healthy and, and not have a limping along. Yeah, it's uh, one turn, you know, one one that gets resolved and that temple guard c goes down. So is that another scruffy looking nerf herder? Mm -hmm. Did it cost him his? That's in Spanish, isn't it? <laughs> or in Portuguese? Oh, Portuguese. <laughs> All right, so we have a white wing special here. I just kind of feel like it's and two potentially damage. too little too late. He's got no cards in hand. So he will resolve the white wing special. The damage will be split. You can get the cash for the range damage from C-3PO. He will resolve C-3PO no cards in hand, right? to gain a resource. I'll deal 40 Yoda. And oh, he, I, I get it now. He, he got that resource to be able to resolve that, all yeah. that range damage. Yeah. I, I did not see that. <laughs> all, right. all right. Christopher putting some damage down at last, but... Most of that damage goes to <coughs> Yoda. Correct. Correct. Now, I mean, we did... The last game with this vehicle's deck, we you know thought, hey, 
He's just he's lost too many characters too fast, and that one still went to the vehicle's player, so let's not call it over yet. That's true. That's true. Though we see a lot of specials here. All already. those specials don't make it any easier. You can force speed, activate Hondo, and then chain into the damage, almost the probably enough damage to kill him. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that Matthias also has a second uh, second chance still in hand. Yes. Although not going to help with Yoda. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> so here comes the special chaining. He's going to gain a resource, turn Yoda to a special, use the four speed special to take two additional two actions. actions. To roll in. Only one native special there. It still has an action. Specials again? I think you can do specials again, yeah. So you can Y-Wing special to kill the money, and then Hondo special. All right, so... Th See, I would Y-Wing first, right? <coughs> yeah, you can Y-Wing first, not, not get rid of those resources, and then deal three with Hondo. I mean, it's sort of six of one, half dozen of the other, yeah. but one resource saves you one damage with Y-Wing Special. One resource saves you three damage against Hondos. That's right. So I can't help but feel like it's a little bit more efficient to do the other direction. Mateus is running lone operative. He's got one copy, but I believe it's in the discard pile. All, easy yeah. All right, easy pickings <coughs> from Christopher. So Mateus and will play half the space jump to end the round. Just get some good damage down and take nothing in return. Not what Christopher needed there. No. Although that's both jumps. But Mateos will probably draw into his uh, Force Wave or uh, Light Bow by now. You would think. You would think. Uh, probably not the Force Wave since he <laughs> chose to roll Yoda here. Yes. Still more specials. Mm -hmm. He's going to look through... Christopher's discard pile. So with what? Five damage on those two characters and only 16 health between them. Those Y-Wing specials are becoming more of a hinder than a help to Christopher. Absolutely. Got more special chaining here. Activate Hondo with his first four speed action, extra action. Seems good. Yep. He will resolve specials. Special into a Yoda, into cunning for a Yoda, into cunning for a Han or into cunning for a Hondo and or a, or a Y wing, and then another Hondo. Ooh, <laughs> I like <laughs> he'll, it. It'll disrupt first to make sure <laughs> that nasty. That Nasty. he's not able to uh, spend those resources to save some of that damage. Yeah, he does it. And we shut down any more vehicle generations. Is that a caution that was played? Yep. Yeah. Christopher played a <coughs> caution. Moved Ezra. Try to stay alive. I think we're reaching... Uh, Reaching the the final moments so of this more damage going down game. on Ezra. That was the Hondo special that we did mm -hmm. not see there. I think Mateos can spend the rest of the round trying to. Uh, oh wow! Trying to mitigate uh, whatever gets rolled and be able to claim. Ezra will go down. All right, we've got 10 health effectively remaining on that hired gun. Significantly less if a light bow comes out, though. Yep. He's got two Y wings, a Fang fighter, and C three PO, and R two D two. So still a lot of supports to r be rolled this round. Yeah, he's still got second chance there, just in case. And I think that's an entangle. It's a scruffy-looking nerf herder. 
just going to call event and remove a pin down from uh, from Christopher's hand. So Christopher will roll in the hired gun, hope for some damage here. Gets it. Ooh. And in response, Matthias will play a Force Illusion. Um, force Illusion, of course, will make sure that uh, Yoda will, will stay in play as long as possible. So two damage goes to Yoda. Two more damage on Yoda. Pinging away. So Force Pinging Illusion away. will see Ooh, better. There goes the light bow. And a second chance. <coughs> so there's still a light bow in that deck. Man, he really wanted to have that uh, light bow in his hand. Here comes a Y Wing. For those wondering, Christopher still has two cards in hand, I believe. So He's he'll be able to reroll. If needed. Or oh, sorry, Christopher, yes. Mateus yeah, has yeah. got entangled, second chance. And one other one that I can't quite see. Mislead, I believe. All right, Entangle comes oh, in man. to remove two the two Y wings. Wow. He's just getting his offensive potential nuked every turn. I mean, both entangles and both easy pickings came in and and removed tons of damage. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> keep track of them. So that Chris did get to claim. Let's see if he remembers the ability this time. He's got still... 10 effective health on that hired gun. This uh, vehicle deck does not run the Republic Cruiser, which, uh, oh, because these are not unique characters, you're not getting as much mileage out mm. of that special, so makes sense. That makes sense. <coughs> so Christopher here is looking for as much damage as possible. That's why he started with rolling in the Y-Wing. Fortunately, he came out blank. So he'll like be fixed with C-3PO, but when those Y-Wings keep getting removed, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris also didn't take cash this turn at all, didn't he? He's not spent any. Oh, Here there we go. go. It's like he's listening to me. <laughs> Which folks at home, they can't hear us. Takes the damage all on Hondo. Keeps that money. Yeah. He's got a lightsaber. I think a mislead. Still a second chance. Wants to see if he's... All right, so a cunning special for a Yoda special. To turn... Let's see. That's to turn a... Yoda died to its special side. Then Yoda special. Okay, Yoda special. Reshield Yoda. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, wow. So he chose here to... Discard the whole hand. Discard the whole hand. Focus into discards. Discard his whole hand. Um, I mean, I'll roll out, but I think that's game. You're Coleman. Let's do it. Chris running the numbers there does not feel good about his chances. Yeah, with no cards in hand, not being able to, uh, not being able to reroll. Of course, Mateus is sitting on some removal still. Oh, and here comes second chance. Thanks, man. All right, so the handshake will come in, and Mateus will win Mate this game. Vehicles shut down by Mateus there with specials like nobody's.